A Spokane woman could be closer to getting justice for her mom who was murdered more than two decades ago. Kremt News' Kyle Simchuk spoke to her tonight about the news her family just received. Kyle? Well, Tabitha Johnson was just 13 years old when her mom's body was discovered near an underpass in Seattle. She spent more than two decades wondering who's responsible and why. Now DNA evidence may have an answer. She was a lively spirit. Her being like five foot, she had so much energy and spunk. Tabitha Johnson holds on to the good memories she has of her mom, Debbie Cascio, growing up with three siblings on Whidbey Island. We spent a lot of time at the beach, Deception Pass. That was like our favorite place to go. But Tabitha says her mom started struggling and could no longer take care of them. Tabitha and her siblings moved to Spokane to live with their dad. Debbie ended up on the streets of Seattle and soon after, the victim in a violent murder. We didn't know the circumstances because we were so young. It was May 2000 when Debbie Cascio's body was found under a freeway overpass in Seattle. Now, nearly 23 years later, a possible break in the case. It's overwhelming. <laughs> There's a lot of questions. Days ago, detectives in Colorado made an arrest in a 1996 murder. Ricky Dawson was extradited from Florida, where he was serving time for a 2001 homicide. He's now accused of killing a 35-year-old woman, and court docs reveal his DNA also matches a DNA profile found in Cascio's murder. Just brings up a lot of feelings, to be honest. And like, what's going to happen next? Dawson has not yet been charged in Cascio's murder, but Tabitha says his name was floated as a suspect several years ago. But she believes Seattle detectives have been waiting to build a stronger case. She had a lot of friends and people who cared about her. It's just tough. Tabitha wants justice for her mom, whose name can be found on a leaf of remembrance outside the Seattle Justice Center. She'd be very proud of us. We all have a college education or... So my brother has a military background, and then we have families, and she would be a grandma to six different grandchildren right now. And Tabitha says she still hasn't heard from Seattle police, but she plans to call them and find out what will happen next and if this man will face charges. In the studio, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.